So, let's just say that you applied warp stabilizer to your clip right here. And you decided to put speed and duration on it. Perhaps change it to 50% for some b-roll you're doing. And then you're presented with this error. Well, I'm here to fix that. Now roll that intro. Preview. Fix to this problem, it's pretty easy I must say. So I have my sample clip of someone playing the guitar and I've already applied warp stable to it as you can see by the black borders here and the clip was pretty stable so there's obviously a big black border. So most of you guys who use Premiere Pro extensively must know this cure. So basically all you have to do is you basically need to nest the clip before you change the speed so i'm just gonna change it to guitar wrist playing and obviously there's a chronological order to this um basically what i'm trying to say is you might want to change the warp stable you might you want to add the warp stabilizer before changing the speed of the clip um i tried doing it the other way one time it didn't quite work out so i stick to this way as much as possible it's also very quick to do i'm sure there are other ways of doing it but this is the quickest way and once i've nested the clip oh, i can go back into speed and duration uh change it to whatever i want 50 percent uh i like to put optical flow it's it's an in well in detail basically it adds frames if your video is buffering so it's at 50 percent now it's just a video of someone playing the guitar i guess so let's just view okay it's a smooth video of someone playing the guitar and stay it's obviously stabilized so that's the video guys like if you liked it sub if you loved it and i'll see you guys in the next video